Are you building a train in Minecraft? Do you want something genuinely different for rolling stock? How about the LNER Pathé Cinema Car? Running on the LNER line out of King's Cross Station between 1935 and 1939. The original seated 48 with not much legroom. This is Minecraft, so my version seats 20. Let's get on with it. To make an LNER Pathé Cinema Car, you will need the following. For the undercarriage, four pistons, three spruce slabs, 16 hoppers, 32 nether brick or blackstone stairs, three grindstones, 20 dark oak slabs, 44 dark oak stairs, 66 dark oak planks, 26 grey terracotta, four levers and eight dark oak fence. For the body of the carriage, you will need three birch doors, six dark oak doors, 44 smooth sandstone stairs, 133 smooth sandstone slabs, one acacia trap door, three birch trap doors, 45 spruce trap doors, and 102 dark oak trap doors. For internal fittings, 20 dark prismarine stairs, three oak stairs, one brewing stand, two chests, three note blocks, three red nether brick walls, one andesite wall, one item frame, one end crystal, two tripwire hooks, 10 lanterns, 17 extra dark oak planks, and six smooth quartz. Make sure it's smooth quartz. And the waste block of your choice. Let's get started. If you're placing this carriage next to another one, make sure you leave two clear blocks on the rails between the extended end of your piston and where you place the waste block. Now that the waste block's down, grey or brown terracotta on top, remove the waste block and two, three. So you end up with this arrangement. Now working from the middle, place 20 terracotta blocks behind this bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And 1, 2, 3. Now for the buffers, I got these from Crafty Fox. There's a link in my description to his channel. Pistons, one either side at the end of the bar, and then you need levers. You can either place them like this or underneath. Both works. Just make sure that whatever you decide on, you do it the same way. Now let's go do this at the other end. For couplings, I use grindstones. Place one between the levers at the front and two between the levers at the back. You'll have to shift click to place the second one. Wheels. Leave a one block gap after your buffer and place a right way up stair. You could use blackstone or nether brick. Underneath it, place an upside down stair, come around to the other side, upside down right way up. Yes, this is a cross shape. Pretend it's round. Leave a one block gap and repeat that. Now place hoppers going into each of the right way upstairs at the top so that the little funnel points into the stairs. Between the wheels, a top half dark oak slab and at the end between the buffers and the wheels, two dark oak vents. Repeat this at the other end. And now between the two sets of bogies, eight top half dark oak slabs. Repeat all this setup on the other side. Dark oak planks next. Come to either end, doesn't matter where you start, and on top of these three terracotta blocks, one, two, three dark oak blocks. Run those all the way down till you get to the other end. And now along each side, upside down dark oak stairs. That's the undercarriage. Now for the ends. Doesn't matter which end you start at, they're both the same. We're going to place waste blocks on the outside uh, directly above our pistons. And then dark oak trap doors, they will place folded shut because of the levers. And in between them, 
spruce slabs at the back place two if you're doing it at the front place one. Now on top of the waste blocks and the dark oak trapdoors, spruce trapdoors, and on top of those two dark oak trapdoors on the outsides and three in the middle. Now come and stand on your spruce slabs and on this first dark oak block of the carriage you're going to place a birch door with the handle facing to the platform side. On top of that birch door you're going to put a waste block and in front of the waste block at the top a birch trap door and on top of that a dark oak trap door. Get rid of the waste block and fold all your trap doors up or down to form a wall. There's a carriage end. Repeat that at the other end of your carriage. Now beginning with the platform side of the train, we're going to start by putting waste blocks next to the upside down dark oak stairs all the way along. Working from the front end of the carriage, we're going to leave a gap of four blocks. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to place two dark oak doors so that the handles are facing into each other. We're going to leave a gap of three blocks, one, two, three, and we're going to place another dark oak door so that the hinges are pointing to the front of the train. Come down to the far end, leave a gap of one and place a birch door so that the hinges are pointing to the end of the train. Now on top of the waste blocks, in all the gaps between the doors, place a spruce trap door. And on top of each of those spruce trap doors, place two dark oak trap doors. On top of each of the doors, place a waste block and in front of the waste block, a dark oak trap door. Remove the waste block. Now remove all the other waste blocks and fold up all your trap doors for walls. There's your platform side of the carriage. Now we go round to the non-platform side and waste blocks next to all the upside downstairs again. Working from the front of the carriage, we're going to leave a four block gap. One, two, three, four. Two dark oak doors with the handles facing into each other. Leave a gap of three and one dark oak door with the hinges facing towards the front. Spruce trap doors in the gaps between. And two dark oak trap doors on top of each spruce trap door. Waste blocks on top of the doors. And dark oak trap doors in front of the waste blocks. Remove the waste blocks. Remove all the waste blocks and fold the trap doors up for walls. And there's your non-platform side of the train. Roof next, come to either end on the inside, doesn't matter which one. On one of these three trap doors, place a smooth sandstone slab or a smooth sandstone block. And now place a row of three going all the way down to the other end. I like to use the slabs because frankly, they go twice as far as the blocks. Now we're going to fill these gaps with right way up smooth sandstone stairs. Now come to the top of the roof, place a waste block on top of any of the stairs and next to it a bottom half smooth sandstone slab, get rid of the waste block. And now fill in the centre of your roof with smooth sandstone slabs. This has two effects, it creates the gentle curve for the roof profile and because they're bottom half slabs it spawn proofs it. One carriage body. Let's go inside. Now that we're inside, we're going to work from the back part of the train forward. So facing this door that goes to carriage access, on either side of it place an oak stair. Now on the non-platform side next to the oak stair, we're going to shift click to place a spruce trap door. On top of that, shift click to place a brewing stand and above that on the wall, shift click to place a tripwire hook. That's actually supposed to be a telephone or communication valve. Now leave a gap of one and place 
two dark prismarine stairs. Do the same on the other side. Now standing at the back of the carriage and facing towards the front between the two prismarine stairs, place a dark oak door with the hinge on the non-platform side. Come through it. Now we're going to grab nine extra dark oak trap doors. We're going to place two on top of the prismarine stairs and two more on top of those. Same on the other side. And one on the ceiling directly above the door. Fold them all up or down to make a wall partition. Now we're going to make four more sets of seats. That completes our seating. We're going to come forward two so that we're just the other side of this door and run a row of dark oak blocks right the way along the width of the carriage. Two more at either end. And in the gap in between our six smooth quartz blocks. Now we're going through to the next section that we've just made. In through the double doors. At the front of the carriage on the platform side we're going to leave a gap of two and then place one, two, three dark oak blocks, two on top and three on top of those. In this gap we're going to place a note block. Coming around to this larger area we're going to face the note block and place an item frame on the front of it and in the item frame an end crystal, hit it once to rotate it. This makes the projection camera. Back around in this little alcove that we've made, there's a two block gap. We're going to place one, two chests, crouch so that they place separately. And next to the access door, place an oak stair. Next to that, an andesite wall. And next to that, a nether brick wall. And then here we're going to place one, two note blocks for motors for the projection camera. A red nether brick wall here. The red nether brick walls are fire extinguishers. It was actually very important as film was highly flammable at the time. Now coming next to the screen on the non-platform wall we're going to put a tripwire hook on this dark oak trapdoor. Again that's another communication valve. If you want you can put another nether brick wall for another fire extinguisher there. Now to light this place up. One lantern at the back in the little alcove, one in each corner next to the screen. Come into the saloon part and place lanterns where you feel that they are necessary for this to be spawn proofed. And one in the back here. Now before we finish up, there's one more thing for us to do. In line with this door, up on the roof, place one smooth sandstone slab right in the middle. And on top of it, an acacia trap door. Uh, we'll run it that way. This is an extra air vent and I've got the trap door up there for a grill and also for spawn proofing. When these cars ran, smoking was very prevalent and an extra vent was needed above the screen so that patrons could see the film through the haze of cigarette smoke. And that's it, one LNER Pathé Cinema car. If you want to see more rolling stock, there's a link on the screen now.